Hello everyone, myself Nandini, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Applications, KSA College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangur. Today we are going to discuss about the subject Mobile Computing. Introduction to Mobile Computing Mobile Computing is a technology that provides an environment that enables user to transmit data from one device to another device without the use of any physical link or cables. In other words, you can say that Mobile Computing allows transmission of data, voice and video via a computer or any other wireless enabled device without being connected to fixed physical link. In this technology, data transmission is done wirelessly with the help of wireless devices such as mobiles, laptops and etc. Mobile computing versus wireless networking. While a wireless system provides a fixed or portable endpoint with access to a distributed network, a mobile system offers all of the resources of that distributed network to something that can go anywhere, barring any issues with local reception or technical area coverage. Applications of mobile computing. Uh, there are many applications in mobile computing. Web or internet access, global position system, GPS, emergency services, entertainment services and educational services. Uh, characteristics of mobile computing. Portability. The ability to move device within a learning environment or to different environments with ease. Social interactivity. The ability to share data and collaboration between users. Contact sensitivity. The ability to gather and respond to real or simulated data unique to a current location, environment or time. Connectivity. The ability to be uh, digitally connected for the purpose of communication of data any environment. A small size. Mobile devices are also known as hand, hand, handhelds, uh, palm tops and smartphones due to their roughly phone-like dimensions. A typical mobile phone will uh, fit in the average adult hand or packet. Wireless communication. Mobile devices are typically capable of communication with other similar devices, with stationary computers and systems, with networks and portable phones. Individual, the ability to use the technology to provide uh, scaffolding on difficult activities and lesson customization for individual learners. MAC protocols, the medium access control protocol is used to provide the data link layer of the Ethernet LAN system. The MAC protocol encapsulates a SDU uh, by adding a 14 byte header. Uh, before the data and uh, appending an integrity checksum, the checksum is a 4 byte 32 bit uh, cyclic redundancy check CRC after this data. Introduction to Mobile Internet The Mobile IP or MIP is an Internet Engineering Task Force uh, RFC 2002 uh, de facto standard communication protocol. It, it is created by extending uh, Internet Protocol IP. The Mobile IP allows mobile devices users to move from one network to another while maintaining the same permanent IP address. The concept and role of Mobile IP are very important in the field of mobile computing technology. Futures of Mobile IP Transparency, Compatibility, Security, Efficiency and Scalability First one Transparency A mobile end system should continue to keep its IP address and there should not be any distribution of this communication after any movement. Capability Mobile IP should be compatible with the existing internet protocols. Security Mobile IP should as far as possible provide user with secure communications over the internet efficiency and scalability in the event of worldwide support there can be a large number of mobile system in the whole internet key, me uh, key mechanism in mobile ip uh, the mobile ip process has three main phase which are discussed in the following section agent discovery registration tunneling uh, first one agent discovery a mobile node discovers its foreign and home agents during agent discovery registration the mobile node registers its current location within the foreign agent and home agent during the registration tunneling uh, a reciprocal tunnel is a set up by the home agent to the care of address current location of the mobile node on the foreign network to route packets to the mobile node as it is rooms root optimization Mobile IPv IPv4 root optimization. The mobile IPv4 root optimization is a um, proposed extension to the mobile IPv4 protocol. It provides enhancement to the routing of the datagrams between the mobile node and to the correspondent node. Uh, 
uh, the enhancements uh, provide means for a correspondent node to tunnel data grams directly to the mobile node or it's to be foreign agent uh, agent care of address root optimization messages and data structures the root optimization extension adds a conceptual data structure the binding cache to the correspondent node and to the foreign agent the binding cache contains binding for the mobile nodes home address and their current care of addresses with the binding the correspondent node can tunnel datagrams directly to the mobile node care of address overview of tcp ip the tcp ip stands for transmission control protocol internet protocol and it is a site of communication protocols used to interact network devices on the internet tcp ip uh, is also used a communication protocol in a private computer network and internet or extranet adaptation of tcp window the local system sends the remote and end and initial sequence number to the remote port using the syn packet the remote system res uh, responds with an ack of the initial sequence number and the initial sequence number of the remote end in a uh, response uh, syn packet the local ends response with an ack of this remote sequence number the performance implication of this protocol exchange Uh, is that it takes one and a half uh, round trip times rtt uh, for the two systems to synchronize the state before any data can be sent that's all thank you